and so a mixture can be separated by taking advantage of differences in the physical properties of its various parts. In our demonstration, the parts we extracted from the crude oil mixture were mixtures themselves, which could be further separated. But if we repeatedly distilled tap water, we would obtain a single pure substance, water. And now, we can expand the little diagram we started building before. Matter is composed partly of mixtures and partly of pure substances. The physical properties of a pure substance cannot be used to separate it into different substances. To separate a pure substance like water into its different parts, not physical changes, but chemical changes are required. One way to produce a chemical change is with electricity. If we pour water into an apparatus like this, we can force an electric current to pass through the water between the electrodes. And this time, the bubbling is the result not of a physical change in the water, but of a chemical change. Gases are forming at each electrode. One of the gases produced from the water burns. The other one doesn't burn, but it supports combustion. Of course, what we're demonstrating is the electrolysis of water, the breaking apart of water into its constituent parts of oxygen and hydrogen. The purpose? To illustrate that water is a compound. A compound is a pure substance composed of two or more different parts that cannot be separated by normal physical means, the way the parts of a mixture can. <laughs>